guys, this is Shauna with Thimble Threads, and I'm going to show you how to apply our Magic Band Cover Skin. And now we are transitioning from the original design in the 2.0 to this full wrap with Pup Cover. So you can see the differences here. Um, so previous design, full wrap. If you get something that says 2.0, it will be this. If you get something that says 2.0 wrap, it will be this, where it goes all the way around the sides and fully covers the center pack. Just so that you know, these are the 2.0 bands that have the, uh, the curve through the center. And if you need to make them child size, you simply pull off this outer gray piece, comes right on off, and it makes it smaller for your kiddos. So I've gathered everything that we're gonna need to get this started. And what you need is your directions, which have a link to this video, which you've already found. You're gonna need your skin, your band, alcohol to prep your band. These have already been cleaned and prepped, but I include these in every package, and a blow dryer. Now these two steps are gonna be a little bit different. Um, so we're gonna start with our original design here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it. So what I like to do is I like to start with the short side. The short side has the holes, and I like to pop it up, just bend this back, and it pops right up just like that. I try not to touch the backing at all because you will reduce your stickiness. So hold it just on the sides. Now you take it and you line up this bottom hole just like that. Can you see that? Hold it. Now as you're stretching it up, make sure you've got it inside the color, just like that. You're gonna go straight up the center, and see I've got it on this round. You wanna keep it rounded. Go straight up the center, and then right out the sides, just like that. And bend it just a bit. Hold it for a second to get that just a little bit to, to set. Rubbing it, smoothing it down. Give it just a second. Some of the edges might pop up a little bit and it's super easy. Take your handy dandy blow dryer, heat it up. Get it nice and warm and then hold it until it's cool in place. And this allows that adhesive to set because the heat from the blow dryer makes it extra tacky. Just be patient. And once you do, you'll get all these edges nice and smoothed down. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pop on over, do the exact same thing on the other side rolling the backing away just like that so that it pops up. Peeling it off, not touching the edges. I like to start way down here on the arm. Lining up just like that. Going straight up the center, ensuring that it's inside that colored edge. Go straight up the center. Out the side, out the side again. Look at how it's round. If you don't have it round, it will not work. Just like that, rubbing, rubbing. Hold it just a second. Give it a pop of heat. Round, round. What I'm gonna do so that this can set in this shape, see those edges are nice and down. I'm gonna go ahead and latch it just on these very last two holes inside that colored portion. Click it latched, that'll help hold it in place so that it has time, a chance to set. Go ahead and apply your center head decal here. Again, pop it off. Line it up. And you want to rub it so that you can actually see the contours of that mouse head right through the top. Now, we're going to give this a few minutes to set in place while we apply the other one. 
It's ideal to just leave it latched and let it sit a minute because that adhesive has got to cure. You see any bumps or ripples? Smooth them out as best you can, but don't focus too hard on it just yet. Okay, so we'll set this guy aside right over here. We'll go ahead and move on to our full wrap. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, the application, because it overlaps, it's ideal to get one side down very securely before moving on to the other side, which is a little different from our previous instruction. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and do the center puck because it's easiest. So again, roll it away, pop, right on up. Now these are a little bit of an oval, so you want to make sure that you're getting it lined up inside. It's not round. So I like to push down the middle, push out the sides, going around, use my little fingernail, give it a heat just to bump it. And again, if this is down really well, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, the contour is that Mickey in the middle, so you just want to get that good rub. Now again, let's start, start with the short side here that's got the holes, roll away, see those arms pop up. You do not want to touch the backing. Okay, so let's line up. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Line up those holes right there, perfect. We're gonna go straight up the center, lining up the holes, staying just inside that colored area. And again, firmly rounded band, firmly up the center, straight up the center and then wing it out the side, and wing it out this side. See, so you want to stay inside that colored area, straight up the center, lining up the holes. Center, one side, other side, and use this little knuckle part of your thumb to get a good rub on there. Now we're going to go ahead and while we're doing the same side, bring our heat. Double up just right there, and so I'm gonna round it, hold it just a minute, let it set while it cools. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Come around the other side. You wanna be sure because these are gonna overlap in the center. You get one side down very well before you move on to the other side. There we go. Rolling away the backing, arms pop up, and lift and apply. Line it up. And I'm stretching it just a bit and rolling it into the skin. We go straight down the center, just as the other side, and then around the side. Just like that, we want to overlap them. Give it on that nice round, it's very important. The skin will not fit properly if you're not applying it rounded. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it rounded like this, give it a blast of heat. Till it's cool. Same thing as before. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna curl this under. We're gonna latch it on those last two holes of the skin just before that gray piece. We're gonna let this sit a minute to allow that adhesive to cure. We're gonna pop back over here to our original. Let's see. There is, there's just uh, one tiny little lift right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then there's another one right here in the center. Just a teensy bubble. And so what you're gonna do uh, to take care of this, guys, is hold it like it is latched. Heat it in the spots that need it. Can go ahead and 
hold it till it's cool. Once you get this down, once you get this good seal on the edges, they are waterproof, scratch proof, sunscreen, bed spray, anything that you can do to them, they can handle as long as you get this application. Application is the most important part. So again, I would go ahead and let these set for about 30 minutes, make sure they're on good, good and firm. And as you can see, keeping the band rounded is very important. If you flex this back straight, it's gonna lift the skin off, it just is. It's not designed to go against the bend of the band. So keep it this way and keep it latched, these last two holes on the skin. If you latch it too tight before it's set, these little arms are gonna go bing, and we do not want that to happen. Okay, so all the edges on this puppy are sealed down. Looks amazing, looks great, ready to go. Pop back over here, we've got, uh, let's see. Well, we've got one little lift right here, just a smidge. We'll take care of that. And one little crinkle right there that we're gonna get out too. Now the key to this, blow dryer. I like to use the nozzle, the concentrator on my blow dryer, put it right on there and rub it down. As you can see, it rubs it right up using the blow dryer. So get it nice and hot, hold it until cool. It all gets really soft and pliable. Very nice. And again, you can heat it in this shape, holding it just like this so that the skin is down flush onto the band. Heat it like this, hold it until cool. We pop this puppy out. Again, last two holes, very important to latch it there. As you can see, band is rounded, it's all smooth, it's all shiny, pretty, and ready to go. Now, you're ready for vacation. Be sure to check back in about a half an hour to see if anything has popped up, anything needs a little bit, little bit more heat. Don't hesitate to use a little bit more heat and be sure to hold it until it's cool. And that's the application of the Thimple Threads Magic Band Cover Skins, Original 2.0, and full wrap with pup cover design. Thanks so much.